number, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and God bless you. Hello, Mr. Jackson. This is Paul Bax calling from Missouri. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get back to you. I actually had a number wrong in your phone number. I had to call Ted and get it. Anyway, um, apparently you're out for the evening or have retired for the night. I will try and give you a call uh, earlier in the evening, uh, probably on Saturday or possibly Saturday during the day. Hello. Hello. Well, who is it? Uh, my name is Paul Bax. Uh -huh. I was calling for Herb. Okay, just a minute. Thank you. Yeah, hello. Hey, Herb, it's Paul Bax. How you doing? Paul Bax, I can't place you. Uh, I called you at work oh, about three weeks ago. We talked about an interview with about uh, Bruce Lee. Uh -huh. uh, Ted Wong had given me your phone number at work. Okay. Is it coming back to you yet? We were talking about Bruce's uh, training equipment in Hong Kong, that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, I'm putting together a, a book of interviews from Bruce's students and uh, wanted to include you in that if, if you have some free time tonight. Oh, well, I don't know about tonight. Uh, I can call back maybe Saturday during the day. Would that be convenient? Well, give me, yeah, okay. Give me a call Saturday sometime and maybe make arrangements, but what, what kind of interviews are you talking about now? What kind of book are you writing here? Uh, actually, not even writing a book. It's just a com compilation of interviews that I've done with Bruce's students. And uh, it's basically their words as they spoke them directly. You know, I don't change anything except for grammatical errors, that type of thing. And uh, it's, it's on the three periods of Bruce's life, Oakland, Seattle, and Los Angeles. Got so far. Got a long list. Uh, starting in Seattle, I got Doug Palmer, uh, Jesse Glover, James DeMille, Joe Cowles, Pat Strong, uh, Taki Kamira, and we go to Oakland, and I have Leo Fong, uh, Alan Joe, Gary Dill, who wasn't actually a student of Bruce Lee, but he was a student of James Lee, uh, Steve Johnson, who was both in L.A. and Oakland. And uh, I think that's it for Oakland. Then when you go to L.A., I have Ted Wong, uh, Steve Golden, Bob Bremer, and I think that's it from L.A. I think that's it. I'm kind of kind of weak in the L.A. area. That's why I need you. Not so far. <laughs> so far, right. But, um, yeah, if, if you want me just to try back on Saturday and see how that works for you. Well, why don't you give me your phone number? Okay. Where did I get a pen here? And what is, what is this sort of a, a group of uh, just comments or is it going to be a book or what? Yeah, it's going to be a book. It's, it's a, what we'll do is put your words in there exactly as you spoke them. We won't break it up like in an article or anything. It'll just be a question and answer type of thing. Yeah, that's not the whole book though, is it? Just, just part of it. Yeah, your your piece will just be a part of the book. Yes, I meant I meant, I meant my piece. I mean, the book is that all the book consists of? Is there commentaries on Bruce, and history of his life, or what? Yeah, base, yeah, that that's basically it. I ask you questions about your 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 time with Bruce, and you answer, and it just has different uh, students from each era of his life. And that's the composition of the whole book. Right, that's it. In other words, you don't, you're not approaching it as a, uh, uh, a compilation of, uh, of students, that is, students and friends. Students and friends, right. I would say mostly students. I'd, everybody that, most most of Bruce's friends were students, you yeah, know. Right, yeah, well that's right, because he was an automatic, he was an instructor, a teacher. Right. If you knew Bruce, you probably were a student. <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, I was uh, only six years old when he died, so it was before my time. Uh -huh. Well, what's your association with Bruce? I mean, I, I mean, I don't think association. You will become a fan of his or of that type of Well, uh, well, I started in martial arts like in the mid-80s and uh, trained in Okinawa Tei 
and of course took a liking to Bruce through his movies at first. And uh, the more I read up on his philosophy and his art, the more I was attracted to it. And some of the things that I read in the magazines wasn't always, didn't always jive with what I had read from what Bruce wrote himself, you know, as far as the Tao of Jeet Kune Do and different things like that. So I started calling different students like Jerry Poteet and Ted Wong and started getting different stories as to what was being printed. I have not interviewed Jerry. I've talked to him personally, but we haven't done an interview. I, I do plan on calling him. But uh, I started I started uh, submitting articles to magazines in 1993, and it just kind of snowballed from there. And uh, I was at the first Nucleus mm -hmm. event. I, you and I probably met each other, but you probably don't remember me. <laughs> um, and Linda, you know, the first, I don't know if you remember that first Nucleus meeting that you guys had, Linda had a binder with her of a bunch of copied articles, and she had wrote, written me a letter asking me to put that together for her. So I kind of did the research for that first meeting for her. Yeah. Did you, uh, you, you met most of these people you had interviews with them, undoubtedly, so like, like Bob Brenner? Yes, I did meet Bob in uh, San Francisco, but we didn't do the interview till this past year, so. <laughs> no problem. Did, did you talk to Bob Brenner uh, in an interview, man to man or phone to phone? It was phone to phone. Phone to phone. So, I actually prefer to do uh, interviews via email. That way I can I can ask more questions. You know, once I get the answers, then I can kind of think about more questions that go on top of that. But I know it's not always convenient. For people, I, in fact, the last time I talked to you, I think you said you don't even have email, so. Yeah, that's right, I still don't. Right. You're, you're probably better off without it. Where are you located? I am in Missouri. In Missouri? Yes, sir. How's the weather there now? Uh, it's in the 50s. 50, 50. Yeah. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, not too bad. No, not too bad. We, we had a fairly mild winter. Not a whole lot of snow, but it's been pretty cold. Right. So we're happy to see a little warmth. Well, Jimmy, call, uh, let's see, what's your, uh, I got a paper again. I'm getting the paper. No problem. Okay, I've got the pen in hand. Okay, home phone is 636-343-3777. And the name again? Paul Bax, B-A-X. That's an unusual name. That's a good old German name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my father was German. Was he? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was told that, uh, I guess before we came over, they used to pronounce it Box, B O X. Yeah. And then they gen German. Yeah, then they changed it to back, so. Uh, I, I'm kind of a smorgasbord. As a matter of fact, I never heard of the name Bax. Really? Hmm. Popular and somewhere? Uh, there's not a whole lot of us in the in the white pages I've looked before. But like I said, it is a German name. Uh, well, yeah. Box probably would be. Yeah. Well, my, my name was a good German name, a real German name, Keschke. Oh, really? Uh, my father's name was. Uh-huh. Interesting. The, so your, your your father, he wasn't born here, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, he was. Was he? Uh, yeah, he was. But uh, my mother and father were separated when I was younger. Oh, I see. That's how I wound up with the name Jackson. Oh. I was going to ask, but I didn't want to intrude. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'll get back with you. Do you want me to wait to hear from you, or do you want me to give you a call Saturday? Well, either one. Okay. Because uh, I'm sure we're both in and out, so we'll just try to reach each other, and we'll go from there. Now, uh, okay, now, uh, what town are you in? What town am I in in Missouri? Yeah. It's called High Ridge. H-I-G-H-R-I-D-G-E. Two words, High Ridge. Okay. 
Okay. All right, Herb. Nice talking to you. Yeah, we might. We'll get along, I guess. Okay, uh, thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Bye-bye.